Hello everyone, and today I am going to be teaching you how to create scientific paper snowflakes. Snowflakes and their shape and their beauty are all a wonderful part of winter science. So get your scissors and your paper ready and get ready to learn about the science of snowflakes. Snowflakes and the way that they form are directly impacted by two main things, humidity and temperature. Now, when we take a look at how the water that is just kind of in the air around us, the humidity, and we take a look at the freezing to less than temperatures, we can learn and understand how snowflakes form. First, let's figure out why a snowflake is six-sided and symmetrical. Water molecules, or H2O, is the molecular composition of a molecule of water. Naturally, they want to be symmetrical in shape. As more and more and more and more water molecules get together to form a snowflake, they still like to maintain that symmetrical shape. For the most part, snowflakes are symmetrical. They also have six sides, or hexagon in shape, six-sided. So when we make a paper snowflake, in order to reflect its symmetry and its six-sidedness, we need to fold it properly. Now, how do temperature and humidity impact a snowflake? Well, think of you as the paper snowflake maker are a cloud. And as the water molecules in the air stick to a little tiny particle of dust in the sky, it freezes onto it and forms the base of your snowflake crystal. If there's more and more humidity or just water in the air, as the snowflake falls, more water molecules can bind to this little crystal and make the crystal grow. Now, if it's really, really cold, all of that water is gonna stick to itself and it's gonna stay very thin and very tiny. So if you have high humidity but low temperature, you might have a intricate, very intricate snowflake with very thin, thin arms. like this. You can clearly see each of the six arms, but there's lots of little points and little details that the humidity provides the snowflake. If you have something low humidity but high temperature, think as the snowflake falls, not really any excess water is going to be collecting or clinging onto it to create beautiful shapes but it's gonna start to spread out because the temperature is so high, it can get nice and fat and wide. You might have something more along the lines of this. Very simple shape, but nice and wide. Easy to see. Still six sides. So, as we create our paper snowflake, let's keep those things in mind. Humidity, temperature, symmetry, and six-sidedness. And these four things will come into play as we cut and fold our paper snowflake. All right, so how do we fold our paper snowflake? First, you are going to want a square piece of paper. You're going to fold it in half to make a triangle. Fold that triangle again make another smaller triangle. Now you're going to want to fold it into thirds. This is to make six sides. So take your little triangle, fold one corner over, fold the other corner to match that line. That's what it'll look like in the front, kind of like a pointy heart. And in the back, you'll see this line here. You're gonna cut now on a diagonal to make it flat 
but also to give your snowflake a little bit of dimension. Like so. As you cut, try to think about, hmm, do I want my snowflake to look like it came from a high temperature, low humidity environment? Do I want it to look like it came from a high humidity, high temperature environment? The options are limitless here, and now you can use your imagination to think of, as the snowflake falls, how might it change in the atmosphere? Let's get to cutting. And now, let's unfold it. And we have a very funky paper snowflake with one, two, three, four, five, six arms. What will your snowflakes look like? Happy holidays, end of the year, whatever you celebrate, I hope that your winter season is going marvelously well. Stay tuned for more of the Art of Ecology goodness coming up in the next year. I've got so much good stuff planned. Can't wait to see you then.